I think I might have found a way to break Talor's curse. Go on. Well, after listening to the village elders and scouring every likely-looking tom in the library, I learned that not all Tombries are the same little green menaces we know and loathe. Apparently, a chosen few live to incredible ages and grow to many times the size of their counterparts. The folk tales hold that it's the very eldest of these, the Tombury kings, who weave the curses, and that their magics bind their victims to them, that they might continue to feed on their pain. So if we slay the one that cast the curse, the feeding will cease. But that was my thinking, yes. Though I doubt it'll be easy. These kings are not just bigger, they're stronger too. And if the tales are true, their followers will defend them to the death. It is a perilous proposition, in short. But it may also be Talor's only hope. What say you? I'll do it. Even if killing this king doesn't break the curse, Mycidia will be a safer place for its removal. Thank you. So then, where will I find it? That, alas, I do not know. It must have woven the curse at the altar in Father's Fell, but as to where it is now... Fanet, you were the one asking about Tonbury's, right? Because there's a whole bloody army of them out on the cloak. What? But, but why would this stray so far? And why now? There's only one way to find out. I'll head up the mountain and see what's going on. Right. Thank you. And please, be careful. Almost at the gate, but they won't be coming any closer. Attack! <laughs> I should buy Haven some time at least. Clive, are you all right? Fine. We've taken care of the immediate threat. Oh, thank the tides. I was worried I was going to lose you both. Till all he, oh, he took a sudden turn for the worst just after you left. What? Is he? No, he's hanging on. I fear the Tombury King may have begun the cursing ritual again, in earnest this time. And I can't imagine their being here as a coincidence. I think it might be happening on this very mountain. If it is, it won't be for long. Get back to Talor. I'm going up. My thanks. I shall pray for both of you. Of them. Come on then. I crave an audience with your king. Thank you. 
Another group. But they don't look very real. Get him! Yes, Still no sign of the king. Could find it had been wrong. Looks like that's the last of them. Out here, anyway. But beastmen do like dark places.
sorry, Your Majesty. But your reign ends here. Yes. Yeah. 
<sighs> it's done. Which means the curse should be broken. Let's see how Talor's doing. Clive! Is it done, then? It is. I was going to ask if there had been any change in Talor's condition, but... Judging by that smile on your face, I think I already know the answer. You do? Talor! He's back! Thank you, my lord. I can never repay you for everything you've done for me. I owe you my life. I'm just glad the curse is lifted. There is one thing I'd like to know, though. If you don't mind my asking, what made you seek the Tombury's help in the first place? Oh, that, well, uh, you deserve to know. It was years ago now, back in my trading days. The sons of Greek arrested me in Oriflam, chained me up in a lightless cell with a great sword hung over my head, ready to fall if I didn't confess. But they never said to what. I didn't, of course. So eventually they just let me go. And I never told a soul. Try to forget it ever happened. But then you came along and the sight of your sword brought it all flooding back. I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, couldn't hardly breathe. And I, I thought that if I gave my old chain to the Tombreys, maybe, maybe they could take all that pain away. All that anger. But it only made it worse. Oriflam has fallen, and the men who tortured you likely fell with it. <laughs> if only I'd known, I might have spared everyone a lot of trouble. I'd convinced myself that you were like them, that all outsiders were the same, but you're not. Far from it. Thank you, son. Thank you. Clive, there's something I need to tell you. After we parted ways on the path to the cloak, I went straight back to Talor and explained to him what you were doing on his behalf. And just like that, his pain began to fade. What do you mean, just like that? The Tombury King would have still been alive. I had to contend with dozens of his minions before I found him. Then... Perhaps one of them warned him of your coming and he broke off his ritual. Or perhaps... Perhaps knowing that an outsider was fighting for him was what lifted the weight from Talor's heart. I know from experience that many illnesses are not wholly physical, but of the spirit, at least in part. Was there ever really a curse then? was Talor simply suffering from the pain of his memories and the guilt of what he'd done for all the difference it makes I suppose we'll never know maybe not but this much I do know it was your strength and your selflessness that healed his heart in the end <laughs> I'll be sure to tell my healer friend when I get home <laughs> 